everyone. Due to Corona pandemic in 2020, we saw a different kind of education system where there were no schools, there were no classrooms, there was no physical teacher to teach us. All we were depended on was virtual classrooms, learning through computers, moving e-texts and etc. Imagine the same kind of situation in 2157. What if the future schools will be like this? Would you like it? Well, let's read a very light story today. Chapter 1 of Class 9th book, Beehive, The Fun They Had. Can you imagine a time when there'll be no books? Yes, you can because you've already got an experience of it. But our two main characters of the story, Margie and Tommy, once upon a time, got hold of a real book, a real printed book, which we have in these days. Now, this story is set in the year 2157, that is in future, when there were no printed books. All the material or the reading material was available only on computers or television screens. In this chapter, let's read how Tommy and Margie reacted to this printed book, which Tommy got of his grandfather's grandfather somewhere in the attic. So today we are going to read this story out. I'll explain you the story and at the end we will do the question answers. And before doing the question answers, I'll tell you the significance of this title, the fun they had. Let's jump in and start off. The fun they had is a science fiction story written by American writer Isaac Asimov. He first wrote this story for a children's newspaper in 1951 and then later on in February 1954, this same story got reprinted in many other magazines and books. So before we begin reading this chapter, let's know something more about this author, Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov was born on 2nd January 1920 in Petrovichy, Russia. He was an American writer and professor of biochemistry at Boston University. He was known for his works of science, fiction and popular science. Asimov was a prolific writer and wrote or edited more than 500 books. He also wrote an estimated 90,000 letters and postcards. Asimov wrote hard science fiction and some of his famous short stories are the last question, the fun they had, the bicentennial man, profession, true love, etc. And some of his stories have also been made into movies such as I Robot in 2004, Bicentennial Man in 1999, Nightfall in 1988, Gandahar in 1987, The End of Eternity in 1987, Skyline in 2015 and many more. He died on 6th April 1992 in Brooklyn, New York, United States. Margie even wrote about it that night in her diary on the page headed 17 May 2157. She wrote, Today, Tommy found a real book. It was a very old book. Margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy, his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. They turned the pages, which were yellow and crinkly. Crinkly means with many folds or lines. And it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen, you know. And then when they turned back to the page before, it had the same words on it that it had had when they read it the first time. Gee, said Tommy, what a waste. When you are through with the book, you just throw it away, I guess. Our television screen must have had a million books on it and it's good for plenty more. I wouldn't throw it away. Margie, an 11-year-old girl, sits down to write her diary on 17th May 2157. 
Now this time is in future. And on that day, she wrote in her diary that Tommy had found a real book. And why is she so surprised with the real book? Because it was an old book. In her times, there were no real books. There was only e-books or virtual books. And Margie remembered her grandfather telling her that his grandfather, when he was a little boy, used to read all the stories which were printed on paper. This book looked very funny to Margie and Tommy because its pages were yellow and crinkly, that is, it had many folds. And it was funny because here the words were not moving. Unlike virtual books, on a screen, when you move the screen, the words also move. But on printed pages or in books, it doesn't happen that way. So both of them find such a book very funny. And then Tommy told that it was a waste. Because when you are through with a book, you just throw it away. Whereas on the other hand, there are televisions where on the screen you can have millions of books on it permanently. And you can have many more than that. And of course, one would not throw it away. Same with mine, said Margie. She was 11 and hadn't seen as many telebooks as Tommy had. Telebooks are the books which are available on television screen. He was 13. She said, where did you find it? In my house. He pointed without looking because he was busy reading. In the attic. Attic is a space just below the roof used as a storeroom. What's it about? School. Margie was scornful. Scornful means contemptuous or showing you think something is worthless or unimportant. School? What's there to write about school? I hate school. Margie always hated school, but now she hated it even more than ever. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. Margie agreed with Tommy's opinion. Margie was only 11 years of age and she had not read as many books as Tommy had because Tommy was older to Margie who was 13 years of age. Margie asked Tommy where he had found the printed book. Tommy replied to Margie that he had found the printed book in the storeroom of his house and after that he got busy reading the book. When Margie asked what the book was about, Tommy replied that it was about school. Margie always hated school. But why did she hate her school? Because Margie's school was not the kind of school that we all have. Margie's school is a virtual classroom. And instead of having a proper human being as a teacher, she had a mechanical teacher. A mechanical teacher means the machine which teaches you and not that school where we all go. And this mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography, which she hadn't been doing so well in. Until her mother thought that there was something wrong with the machine. And so she called the county inspector to check it. County inspector is the person who inspects that machine and rectifies or repairs the fault. He was a round little man with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wires. He smiled at Margie and gave her an apple, then took the teacher apart. Margie had hoped he wouldn't know how to put it together again, but he knew how all right. And after an hour or so, there it was again, large and black and ugly, with a big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked. That wasn't so bad. The part Margie hated most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers. Slot is a given space, time or position. She always had to write them out in a punch code. They made her learn when she was six years old and the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time. A punch code is a code for machine operated by a keyboard for coding information by punching holes in cards or paper tape 
in specified patterns. Now there came the county inspector. He was a fat man with a red face and he had come there with a box of tools and wires. He smiled at Margie and he gave her an apple to eat. But Margie hoped that this man would know nothing to how to repair it. But this man was an intelligent person and right after an hour, he had repaired the mechanical teacher. And now this line, large and black and ugly with a big screen, is a description of that mechanical teacher, the machine who used to teach Margie. On which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked. The most hated part of Margie about that mechanical teacher was the slot. A slot is a space where she had to put her homework and test papers and she had to write them out in a punch code or in a code language which was taught to her when she was six years old. And this mechanical teacher, since it was a machine or a robot you can call, used to calculate the marks in no time and give her the result. The inspector had smiled after he was finished and patted Margie's head. He said to her mother, It's not the little girl's fault, Mrs. Jones. I think the geography sector was geared a little too quick. Geared to means adjusted to a particular standard or level. Those things happen sometimes. I have slowed it up to an average 10-year level. Actually, the overall pattern of her progress is quite satisfactory. And he patted Margie's head again. Margie was disappointed. She had been hoping they would take the teacher away altogether. They had once taken Tommy's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely. Once the inspector finished his work, he told Margie's mother that it wasn't Margie's fault actually. The machine itself had gone up to one level higher and now he has slowed it to one level lower so that it will match an average 10 year level. And actually, Margie's overall pattern of progress was very satisfactory. But Margie was sad because she did not want to learn. She did not want to study from this machine and she wanted that the inspector should take it away. Margie was reminded of the time when Tommy's mechanical teacher had been taken away for repair for almost one month and he was enjoying his time as he didn't have any teacher. It had been taken away because the history portion of the machine had been completely blank. So the mechanical teacher did not have any memory of it and had to be taken away for repair. So she said to Tommy, why would anyone write about school? Tommy looked at her with very superior eyes. Because it's not our kind of school, stupid. This is the old kind of school that they had hundreds and hundreds of years ago. He added loftily. Loftily means in a superior way. Pronouncing the words carefully. Centuries ago. Margie was hurt. Well, I don't know what kind of school they had all that time ago. She read the book over his shoulder for a while, then said, Anyway, they had a teacher. They had a teacher, but it was a man. Now we know the reason why Margie disliked her school. So she asked Tommy why would anyone write about school? Tommy was looking at Margie with superior eyes because he knew something that Margie was not aware of. He said that Margie was silly because she did not know that many years ago, the school was not the kind they had. Tommy wanted to stress on the time period and he said that centuries ago, the school were not like the ones they had. Margie was heard at Tommy's behavior and she said that she did not know what kind of schools they had centuries ago. She was curious and so she looked over Tommy's shoulder trying to read the book and said that perhaps they had a teacher. And of course she was curious. She imagined a group of children being taught by a human teacher. Sure they had a teacher, but it wasn't a regular teacher. Regular here 
means normal or of the usual kind. It was a man. A man? How could a man be a teacher? Well, he just told the boys and girls things and gave them homework and asked them questions. A man isn't smart enough. Sure he is. My father knows as much as my teacher. He knows almost as much. I betcha. Betcha is an informal way of saying I bet you in fast speech or I'm sure. Margie wasn't prepared to dispute that. Dispute means disagree with. She said, I wouldn't want a strange man in my house to teach me. Tommy screamed with laughter. You don't know much, Margie. The teachers didn't live in the house. They had a special building and all the kids went there. And all the kids learned the same thing? Sure, if they were the same age. But my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl it teaches and that each kid has to be taught differently. When Tommy says about a regular teacher, here he means a machine teacher because that is what they are used to. That is the teacher they had, a machine. So he said that it wasn't the machine, it was a man or human being who taught them. And Margie could not believe that a man was a teacher because she had always seen a machine doing that. So Tommy tells that the man who taught the class discussed many things with the students, gave them homework and then asked them different questions based on it, just like their mechanical teacher does. Margie said that a man teacher is not as smart as a machine teacher. But Tommy doesn't agree. She asks Margie not to underestimate a human teacher. And he says that human beings are also as knowledgeable as the machine. And he compares the machine to his father and says that his father knows as much as his machine teacher. Margie did not want to discuss this further. So she added that she did not want a strange man, the human teacher, to come to her house to teach her. But Tommy found this very funny and he told her that the teachers never went to students' house to teach them. They had special building, which was called a school, and the students went to the school to study. Margie was surprised. Tommy said that all children of the same age studied the same thing. Margie refers to a machine teacher. She said that her mother told her that the machine had to be tuned to the level of each boy or a girl who was studying from it. So each child had to be taught separately depending on their level. Just the same, they didn't do it that way then. If you don't like it, you don't have to read the book. I didn't say I didn't like it. Margie said quickly. She wanted to read about those funny schools. They weren't even half finished when Margie's mother called. Margie, school. Margie looked up. Not yet, Mama. Now, said Mrs. Jones. And it's probably time for Tommy too. Margie said to Tommy, Can I read the book some more with you after school? Maybe, he said nonchalantly. Nonchalantly means not showing much interest or enthusiasm or carelessly. He walked away whistling the dusty old book tucked beneath his arm. Tommy replied to Margie that back then the things were very different. But by now he was really irritated with Margie's questions. And he told her that if she didn't like the book, she should not read it. On the other hand, Margie was very curious about those funny schools and she wanted to read more. But then it was her school time and her mother called her. Margie requested Tommy if she can read the book after her school. Tommy replied maybe she could and then he walked away with that book under his arm. Margie went into the school room. It was right next to her bedroom and the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her. It was always at the same time every day except Saturday and Sunday because her mother said little girls learn better 
if they learned at regular hours. Margie's schoolroom was next to her bedroom in her own house, and there she had this robot mechanical teacher, which was right there waiting for her. It was the usual time or the regular time every day except Saturday and Sunday. These two days used to be her holidays because her mother told her that if there were regular hours of study, then the little girls learned better in that way. The screen was lit up and it said, Today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fractions. Please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot. Margie did so with a sigh. A sigh is a heavy breath. She was thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. All the kids from the whole neighborhood came, laughing and shouting in the schoolyard, sitting together in the schoolroom, going home together at the end of the day. They learned the same things so they could help one another with the homework and talk about it. And the teachers were people. The mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen when we add fractions one by two and Margie was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days. She was thinking about the fun they had. The mechanical teacher's screen was lit up and there was information there that that day's arithmetic lesson was on addition of proper fraction and it requested Margie to insert the previous day's homework in the proper slot. Margie was not happy but now at this point of time Margie started to compare her school with the old school which her grandfather's grandfather attended when he was a little boy. Right now she is sitting alone in her school room and the teacher she had was a mechanical teacher, a machine. But in the olden times, all the kids from the whole neighborhood together went laughing and shouting to the school. They played in the schoolyard. They sat together in the schoolroom. And while going home also, they went together. What fun they must have had. They learned the same things. So they could help one another with the homework and also discuss the same topic. And back then, the teachers were people. They had sentiments, they had emotions, they could understand the students. But here, in Margie's time, the teacher was a machine, which was only flashing things on the screen. Margie was thinking that how those kids must have loved in the olden days. They must have loved going to the school, they must be so attached to their teachers. And she only thought how much fun they had during those times. They must have really enjoyed their school life. On 17th May 2157, a time in future, Margie, an 11-year-old girl, and Tommy, a 13-year-old boy, found a real book. Now, in future time, the books were not supposed to exist. This book belonged to their grandfather's grandfather. And when they had this book in their hands, they were utterly curious about it. Because this was something very different. They had books on screens, on televisions, where they could read. They could have millions of books on the machine. The school in that year was completely mechanical. They had mechanical teachers. They had mechanical classrooms. And there was no concept of school as we have it today. So when they read, started to read, when they touched this book, it was a very different experience for them. They could not believe that such a thing would even exist. Margie and Tommy's school was inside their house. It was one separate room which was dedicated for schooling. So they had computer, they had a mechanical teacher who would give them everyday lessons and tests occasionally. But Margie was not happy with this kind of a setup because there was no fun in it. She could not go out. All she had to do was sit there and study all alone. She was not interested in learning from a mechanical teacher. But when Tommy told her that in the past, there were no mechanical teachers, the teachers were actual human beings 
and they used to go to a special building called school and children also came there to study margie did not believe that at first but when she started to think about it she compared her life with the ancient students or past students life and then she felt that back then when children had friends and together they went to school they studied there together they sat together they played in the school yard and then they had common topics where which they could discuss with each other how fun how nice it would have been for all the kids and where the teacher was actually a human being how kind and considerate that teacher must have been to all her students what kind of relationship had been there between a teacher and the students back then so till the end of the story we come to know that margie actually felt that children in the past had more fun than she has it today so the title the fun they had actually talks about the students in the past who could go to school and learn the things physically and in a different manner because going to school back then must have been fun for them so what's the moral of the story simple enjoy your school days enjoy the company of your friends enjoy the teaching of the teachers because you never know what the future will hold for your kids and for the next generations to come that's all in this session coming up next are the question answers and the grammar exercises given in this book after the chapter wait for my next video till then take good care of yourself and bye bye god bless you